Okay, hi everybody. So in this short video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to get started with ABC Notation. Uh, my name is Chris Walshaw, and I run the site abcnotation.com. Okay, so what we're we gonna talk about today? Well, I'm gonna assume that you've, you've come across ABC in some way. Maybe you've found it on a website, or uh, maybe somebody sent you something in an email, uh, but maybe you're not that interested. You're just wondering what, you know, you're not interested in the, uh, the format itself. You just want to find out what the music is, um, maybe modify it slightly, maybe transpose it, those kind of things. So what we'll look at is uh, how you can use the website, first of all, to find some music, um, what you can do with it when you found the music, or maybe if somebody sent it to you in an email, so editing and saving, uh, things like that, just on a uh, online, not, not downloading any software, how you can transpose it easily. And then at the end of the, the short video, I'll give you some, some links that you can go further and some suggestions for other videos that I'm making. Okay, so let's start with uh, the the uh, search page at uh, abcnotation.com, and you can use that to find uh, sheet music for tunes. Uh, so tunes, there's there's about six hundred thousand tunes on there. Um, uh, let's search, for example, for one I happen to like, "Speed the Plow." It's a very common English tune. You just type the name in there, uh, click search, as you'd expect, and then you'll get a whole list of results, uh, which uh, some of them call Speed the Plow, some of them call something else. So that probably Krogan's Hill, Krogan Hill is, is a reel that's also known as Speed the Plow. Okay, and this is, this is just very familiar, like Google search results, you can see there's uh, 154 uh, tunes with Speed the Plow somewhere in the title. So let's pick one of those. Let's pick the first one. Go to the tune page. Uh, there's the there's the dots. So uh, you can just you can download that as a PNG if you want, or print the page out. Um, there's the ABC notation. I'll, I'll talk more about that in a minute. There's some related tunes or some uh, tunes that other people looked at when they were visiting this site. This thing over here is what I call the tune graph, and that shows you tunes that are similar musically. So uh, if I, this this one in the middle is the page that we're looking at. If I hover over one of these things, it will show me, show me other tunes that have got very similar structure musically, and I can use that. I can double click on those to, to take me to those uh, other tunes and have a look at those. But I'm not gonna do that for today. Let's just uh, assume this is the one we want. So here it is. Um, let's copy that. Uh, and that, as I say, this is a, this is a good way to find traditional folk music. Um, there's lots of Irish music, English, English Scottish, uh, quite a lot of continental Europe, American. Uh, there's even, even some Chinese music on there. So you can you can do searches and you can find quite a lot of uh, material, as I say, about 600,000 tunes. Let's suppose you've, you've got your ABC. I've, I've found it there and I want to do something with it. So the next thing we're going to look at um, is editing and saving the ABC notation. So maybe what you've got is not quite what you want. Uh, there's a really good editor called um, drawthedots.com. I've opened that up already. And here it is. When you go to the page, this is what it looks like. So there's a, there's a bit of uh, information at the top. Uh, we can hide that away. And uh, then you've got two panels. You've got the panel here with the tune, uh, the ABC tune, and then there's the and there's the notation there. So if you remember, I, I copied this, this tune here, uh, copied it into Control-C. I can just paste it into the editor, or V, and you'll see on the right-hand side, then the uh, notation appears. Okay, uh, I can play it. Actually, I should have mentioned that. I can play it on, my, on the other side as well. So just play there. There you go. Or this one here. Slightly different interpretations, uh, just depending on the software. Um, what can we? What else can we do here? Well, on this one, uh, I like this editor because you can speed it up and slow it down. So I can, uh, if I want to practice the music, I can go quite significantly slower. There's a stop that. <laughs> There's a a bar that's following the. The, the dots as they're being played. So that's very helpful for practicing. Um, what else can I do? I can download 
the uh, tune. Okay, I'm not quite sure why it's called Untitled, but I can download it as a file called Untitled. Um, I can also download, uh, or I can rather print out the uh, the dots. So using a printer, um, okay, and you can choose, you know, you choose your printer or print it to PDF. Um, I can download the MIDI. Uh, you can do some of those things on on the ABC Notation site as well. This is a, a more fully featured editor. Okay, so that's that's quite good. And if you decide maybe you don't like something, maybe you don't like the G chord at the beginning there, maybe you want something E minor just for a bit of change, uh, you can put that in and that'll appear and then you can play it. So you can easily, sounds a bit weird now, you can easily edit this, this stuff and see what it sounds like. Okay, uh, next we're gonna look at, suppose you want to then transpose it. So the next site we're going to go to is mandolintab.net. This is a bit of an older version, um, but it still does the job. So I use this quite a lot for when I need to transpose some music. Uh, and if I go to this one, so again, I can paste the ABC into there. Uh, I can um, either just make it appear as dots just by hitting submit and it will appear. But if suppose I want to transpose it into A, uh, Let's transpose it up two semitones. Um, and what I, what the other thing I use this for quite a lot is I can transpose the ABC. So I can, if I click this box here, show transpose output, it's gonna show me the the dots. Uh, transpose, it will do that automatically, but by clicking this button, it will also show me the, uh, the transposed ABC. So if I submit that, and you'll see there's the, there's the dots, uh, which I can download as a PDF or a MIDI again. Uh, and now the ABC, if you notice, it's now moved up into A. So the chord, the first chord now is in A, and it, the key is in A major. Okay, so lots of things you can do with it, um, just without even having to understand the notation. Just paste it in, you know, find a tune in, in this. So we can, let's find another tune. There's a similar tune. This one is already in A. Um, as you can see from the key signature, I can play it here. I can copy that, paste it into one of these editors, modify it, download it, uh, transpose it, and uh, not without really having to understand the notation at all. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this video here. I'm gonna suggest some links at the end. So my suggestion for this video is uh, if you want to find stuff, use the search um, engine at ABC Notation that will find that has 600,000 tunes, as I say, to, to search through. Um, I'm doing more videos like this. So this video will appear on that page and uh, there'll be some more about the notation. And the next one, in fact, I'm going to do is, is talking about uh, some software that you can use to do. So suppose you don't want to do all this stuff online. Suppose you want to actually save these these tunes on your computer, then uh, you can download some software and edit them on your computer, save them into files, save the PDFs and so on. And I'll talk um, about my favorite bit of software there, although there are there are plenty of uh, bits of software that will, that will do this. Uh, I'll talk a bit more about what the ABC actually means. So to interpret what those letters and numbers actually mean uh, and uh, I'll also show you where you can find out more help. So on the discussion page, but so for this video, the first two links are the, the ones that I'm highlighting for the, uh, the next video. We'll talk about those, those issue, those things, the software, how to learn ABC, how to, to uh, meet other people who know about it and, and are quite happy to, to give their, um, their support and help if you're stuck with something. Uh, and I'll cover that in the next video. Okay, hope you found this useful. Um, give me a like or subscribe to the channel if you do, uh, and I'll put these links um, down the uh, the bottom underneath this this video. Thanks for listening. Bye.